official episode or video, whatever you want to call it, of my Better Your Life um, series. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I'm doing the Fit Girls Guide. Um, workout plan, meal plan, workout plan. Um, it's going great. So this is going to be um, my first video on that, oh, going over week one, because each week is different, the workouts. Um, just increase and the meals change each week and I'm just here to talk about a recap of how week one went because usually week one is like the hardest trying to stick to the meals changing your diet cutting out caffeine and sweets which is my biggest weakness and staying on track with the workouts every single day so week one actually went really really good I feel like because it's so laid out and it's so like black and white um, well for the most part that it makes it so much easier to stay on track and like this is your workout this is your grocery list these are your meals these are your recipes like it has everything laid out you have to do like no work besides just like the meal prepping um, ahead of time and other than that it's just all laid out yeah. for you so I feel like that's yeah. so much easier yeah cool so for the breakfast for week one, it was fridge oats, which is, if you guys watched my last video, it's um, a smoothie, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like oatmeal and yogurt and deliciousness and almond butter and really good stuff for you. So the smoothie is just a different take on it. I decided to turn it into a smoothie. Um, so for the breakfast for week one, I'm not, I'm a huge sweet tooth, but I'm not a huge, um, sweet tooth in the mornings. Like, I like my eggs, I like my avocados, I like just, like, breakfast things that aren't, like, overly, poweringly sweet. And I found that the fridge oats were really, really sweet. So on, on day four, I went out and got some of the whole wheat English muffins, and I made the egg mix muffins they call them egg mcfit funds i started those on the day four i believe and because i just missed my eggs and my avocados and that just kind of tied that in together and i just skipped the fridge oats and then starting into week two don't mean to start talking about week two but starting into week two i kind of started to get tired of the egg mcmuffins so i did a couple of the smoothie fridge oats and um those were really good the nice thing about this plan is you can switch any of the breakfasts out. You can switch any of the lunches out for different weeks. Um, they also have a cookbook that you can switch all your meals out as well. If something doesn't sound good or look good or taste good, if you tried it, you can always switch the meal out and try something else, which is like my favorite part of this plan. You can customize it to you. There are so many substitutions. If you don't like this fruit, do a different fruit. If you don't like this veggie, do a different veggie. Um, and they also have like gluten-free and vegetarian options as well um but anyways back to my first week the meals in week one are amazing that is the only one that i had to switch out was the um the oatmeal and that was only on like day four it was it's really good but i'm just not a huge sweet tooth person in the morning so that's the only reason i switched that out for lunches there was a roasted veggie power bowl which is just like chicken and vegetables chicken rice beans vegetables hummus and that's just like your veggie power bowl and they also have like different variations of each of these meals that you can like switch up and so for a lot of the roasted veggie power bowls I wasn't a huge fan of just eating like the straight chicken, the straight vegetables. Like I liked it all mixed together and I turned it into like a little taco bowl. And I would put like one tablespoon of sour cream, one tablespoon of salsa, um, a couple little slices of avocado, and then it had the chicken, the rice, and the beans. And I just mixed that all up. I just mixed that all up and it tasted amazing. And I think I did that for like the last three days of week one and it tasted so good and i think i'm gonna go start going back to that for my lunches because i'm not loving the lunches in week two but i'll talk about that next week um for the dinners it was a switch what their dinners does is it has two dinners that rotate back and forth and the dinners were sweet potato street tacos and pita pizza party these things tasted amazing jake actually did the pita pizzas with me um we're gonna do the sweet um, the sweet potato street tacos tonight, but he had the pita pizzas with me He's like this just tastes like you're cheating like this doesn't even taste like a Overly healthy meal, but it is and it's amazing. It's whole wheat 
it's whole wheat um, pitas. It's a little bit of cheese, a little bit of marinara sauce, some spinach, some mushrooms, uh, some onions. And it tastes so good. And the nice thing is, Jake hates mushrooms, so I just switched his out for like a couple pieces of pepperoni because he's not technically doing a fit plan with me so he's not like on a strict meal plan or anything so i switched his um mushrooms out with pepperoni and he loved it i loved the dinners for this week they tasted so good it made it super easy to stay on track and get my meals done and these meals are actually super super easy to make they take less than like 20 minutes to put the whole thing together so that went really well as far as the workouts Probably on day two or three, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Like the workouts, because I'm not, I'm not an overly motivated person to work out. Like I tried the whole gym thing. I tried going to the gym like every day or like every other day. And I just get so unmotivated and I don't know why, but I'm more motivated when it's like something I really enjoy, like doing Zumba or taking classes or working out with a friend, stuff like that keeps me motivated. But when I just go by myself, I am like really unmotivated but the workouts are only half an hour long and it's nice because they have it split up between you do your strength well first you warm up then you do your strength then you do your cardio and then you um, stretch at the end as well so no matter how many reps it seems like I'm doing or how many um, of each workout strength training that I'm doing say like 20 crunches or side planks or jumping jacks or wall sits, whatever it is, how many of those, they, like the strength part only takes me 15 minutes out of my day to do. And then after the first 15 minutes, I will switch because your workout has to be half an hour, I'll switch and do 15 minutes of cardio. And what I've been doing, because I've got two kids, it's really hard to get out of the house. I don't have a double stroller. You can't really go on a jog with a baby on your back when I have them in the baby carrier. And it's been like 95 degrees and above out lately, so I'm not about to go run in that. So the past um, week, um, what I did for my cardio was I would just look up on my phone, Zumba workout or cardio workout, do 15 minutes of that. And they were actually, they're really, really fun. And that's what I've been doing for my workout. And it's only half an hour long. I've been doing it when the boys are sleeping. So I've got that time to just half an hour of just working out and getting my endorphins going. And it puts me in such a better mood after I do my workouts. I love it. And then I drink like a bunch of water and have a protein bar. And that's been going great as well. As far as my inches and my weight has gone, my weights and my inches have stayed about the same. My inches actually went up a little bit, which is kind of weird. Um, but when I started this, I was like 115, 116, and I'm still right there. Um, but I'm noticing my body is getting a lot more toned up. So as far as like, not skill level, but as far as how hard this meal plan and workout plan is, so far it is super easy and it's going amazing. Week one, I seriously, it went by so fast and now I'm on to week two and it's just awesome. I seriously love this meal plan and I can't wait to see my end picture after the 28 day workout. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go do that. It's just swap family underscore, no spaces and go follow me on there because I've been posting workout stuff and my, some of my meals and I post pictures of my kids all the time too and stuff we do like we've been going out and playing in the pool and just hanging out in the sun and having a good summer so that is all for my first video for my better your life um getting fit and i feel like i'm gonna start doing like a different um thing like each month to better your life like this month it's gonna be all about workout even after this month i'm gonna keep up and still eat healthy and stuff but as far as videos go for my Better Your Life series, I'm just going to have this month all about uh, fitness and eating healthy and stuff. And then next month, I'll do a different topic and I'll probably do one video a week. So that is all for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed. I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye.